internet, it is me, Amelia, and I am back. Did you miss me? Because I have missed all of you, wonderful viewers. And I just wanted to thank you for all the love that you guys have been sending my way. It means a lot more than I can actually say right now. So I wanted to give you an update on how my life has been. We're nearing six months of vlogging, which is wild to me. Things have been calmer, that's for sure. With finals over and one year of grad school down, I finally have some time for fun. Sure, I will most likely be working more, but that just means more money to have fun and pay bills. But you guys are not here for that. You guys are here for my dating life. I have to admit that before my cruise, I was really considering quitting my vlogs. And it was a really rough feeling because it was Leighton dumping me because of my vlogs that made me feel that way. And as I stated in my last vlog, that I just, I needed time to really process and heal. And as much as I love vlogging, I, I really do, I also needed to take a step back and just live life. So I guess we'll move on and I'm going to start talking about my cruise. The cruise was amazing. The weather was beautiful and it was really nice to get off the grid for a while. And I got to spend time with my friends and we haven't done that in a while. Just doing whatever it is that weird friends do. But we went rock climbing, ice skating, mini golf. So I had a lot of fun. I've already gotten asked if I've met someone on the cruise and there might have been someone that I was flirting with. However, like I said, what happens on the ship stays on the ship. As for Julie, she has been sticking to her self limitations. And since we both were on the trip, there wasn't enough time or service to be on technology. And therefore we have uh, scaled back our online dating. Now, I know I left things off with Ella and her dating life secret, but worry no more because I am going to tell you who she's been secretly dating and it was Eddie. So apparently the two really hit it off after our Skype call and ended up exchanging numbers. And I did notice that they became friends on Friendbook, but I just kind of thought it was like something where you meet a friend's friend and you just add each other. I don't know. Ever since then, they've been dating. And all it took was a couple shots and Ello spilled it to all of us on the cruise. They're a good match. And in case you're wondering, no, I don't have any bad feelings about it. Eddie and I are just friends. So internet, we'll see where they end up. For now, we'll debate ship names. So far there's been quite a discussion in a group text about it. The contenders are Ediella, Ellie, and Adela. If you have any good ones, definitely let me know in the comments below. Christina's been getting really heated about it. Meanwhile, it's time for me to start getting back into online dating again. I've already updated my profile a little bit. Um, you know, I just added some information and then I added some photos from my cruise. However, I actually have a date planned courtesy of Ella and Eddie. It's a blind date with a guy named JD. And yes, I did say blind date. You're probably asking why. Well, mostly it was convenient, but it's not really a random person that's setting me up, but it's Ella and Eddie. And I trust Ella with my life. I mean, she tried to avenge me with a plastic sword. So we'll see if it goes well or not. I'm hoping well, because then it would be really awkward if we had to hang out with friend groups. Ooh. Is this a good idea after all? As per tradition, my dick pic tally of the week is 4.5. Nothing too scary there. But here is my date outfit. I'm excited to be vlogging again. I'll see you guys next week.